Using Mathematica to Solve Mimo Control Problems by Group Magnesium Delta by Yun Ma and Julie Wesley. Multiple input, multiple output, or MIMO control schemes are common in industry. They are used for systems that have dependencies and interactions between multiple variables. One method that is used to design and analyze MIMO control schemes for steady state processes is by using relative gain arrays, or RGAs. An RGA gives a quantitative approach to analysis of interactions between control loops. Then, variables can be manipulated and controlled to create a control scheme. Example 1 on the wiki is a blending unit that is used to dilute and cool the product stream of a reactor. Three streams are combined in the mixer, the hot concentrated stream from the reactor, a room temperature stream containing none of product A, and a second room temperature stream containing some A produced elsewhere in the process. We want to control the flow rate, temperature, and a concentration of A in the product stream by manipulating the flow rates of the three input streams. A schematic of the process is shown here, with the steady state values of flow rate, temperature, and concentration. The manipulated variables are indicated with the letter M, and control variables are indicated with the letter Y. On the wiki, this example is solved by hand. We are going to show you a way to solve this problem using Mathematica to analyze the MIMO control scheme using RGA. First, we need to input the equations into Mathematica. Enter them exactly as shown in the example and as shown here. Make sure you assign the equation to the name by using a colon and then the equal sign. Next, we need to create a matrix G. In Mathematica, select Insert, then Table slash Matrix, and select New. Select the Matrix Radio button and set the number of rows and columns to 3. Since each value in the matrix is a partial derivative, we use the function capital D, open bracket, variable 1, comma, variable 2, close bracket. The first variable is a function of which we are taking the derivative. The second variable is a variable that we are taking the derivative with respect to. Input each variable at, in the matrix as shown here. To check the value of your matrix G, type G and then press Shift Enter so that G outputs on the screen. The values in the matrix should match the matrix as shown here. If there are any errors, check the equations and the matrix G you previously entered. Next, we will input all the variables that are given in this problem. This can be done by inputting them as shown here. Be sure to put a semicolon after every variable. Now we will solve the matrix using the variables for this system. To do this, we will evaluate the matrix that we outputted earlier when we checked the values of the matrix and assigned this to the matrix G. It may be different in your notebook, so input the output number from your notebook. In this example, we have output 5 which is denoted by out, close bracket 5. Then, the next output will be the matrix G solved with our initial conditions. The matrix should match the matrix shown here. Now we will find matrix R, which is the transpose of the inverse of the matrix G. To take the inverse, we use the function inverse close bracket matrix. We can simultaneously take the transpose by using the function transpose close bracket matrix and putting the inverse matrix in the transpose function. The resulting matrix R should match the matrix shown here. Lastly, we can calculate the RGA by multiplying the matrices G and R piecewise according to the formula lambda IJ equals GIJ multiplied by RIJ. In Mathematica, we multiply the two outputs of the matrices that we originally calculated. The resulting matrix should be exactly as the one shown here. Another way to check is to check that all the columns and rows should add to 1. The rest of the problem can be solved as explained on the wiki. As you can see, using Mathematica to solve this problem, you are able to solve it much more quickly than solving it by hand. In addition, you can change the initial conditions and quickly see how the results would change. Lastly, you can analyze MEMA control systems using RGA that involve many variables and thus create large matrices that would be very time-consuming to solve by hand.